So what does the Bible say about heaven? I have a friend who likes to quip, well, you know, heaven's great and everything, but it's not like it's the end of the world. And it's not. Heaven is where, after you die, your spirit or your soul goes to be with Christ and to receive rest and refreshment until the day Christ appears in glory again here on this earth. Then your body is going to be raised, and then you will enter with him into the new heavens and the new earth. And the Bible is clear, folks. Jesus, he's not done with you by merely getting some piece of you into his presence. He's not done with you until he gets you living again, body and soul, like his own body, incorruptible, immortal, forever alive in the flesh, raised. Flesh that's been changed, but that's still flesh. That's what St. Paul promised in 1 Corinthians 15. Listen to these words. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We are not all going to sleep, which means die, but we are all going to be changed in a moment. The twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet. The trumpet will sound and the dead are going to be raised imperishable and we will be changed. For this perishable body, this body that falls apart, it needs to put on the imperishable, this mortal body, this body that's headed to death, it needs to put on immortality to be forever beyond the power of death. And when that comes to pass, then the saying that is written will come to pass. Death is swallowed up in victory. Oh, death, where is your victory? Oh, grave, where is your sting? Thanks be to God. He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. For more information on this, Go check out our podcast on 1 Corinthians 15. You can click the link below. If you want more information after 1 Corinthians 15, be sure and check out 1 Thessalonians 4 and 1 Thessalonians 5. And be sure and come back in a month or so because we're going to talk about that rapture thing that people made up and stuck in the Bible. We're going to deal with that.